So, I know I'm a little late on this video for those of you who just started your computer science degree last two or three weeks, but let's just pretend that I'm early for those who are about to start their computer science degree in the spring or maybe next fall or a few years from now. So, let's just let's just go with that. In my uh, set, if you will, is looking a little different than it normally does. That is because I took everything from right here and moved it downstairs. One, because I was a little bored and kind of wanted to, but two, because supposedly we, in my area in Southern Virginia Beach, had a mandatory evacuation for Hurricane Florence. Now, today is Saturday, I believe, when the hurricane is still causing uproar within the Carolinas. Prayers go out to all of y'all. But for us, it diverted south and missed us almost completely. We just had a few little like lightning or tornadic lightning storms, if that's even a real term, I, I don't know, but we don't normally get tornadoes here on the coast of the United States, the East Coast that is. So what I'm gonna do is just stand. All right, and that's like so, make sure I'm in focus and coffee. And now we're ready to go. So I don't want this video to be about me preparing you for a computer science degree. I'm teaching you how to prepare yourself for a computer science degree. So we're gonna talk about a few broad topics that I know you'll be able to fit into your life in order to help prepare you for that computer science degree. So let's get started. Point number one actually applies to college as a whole, but especially computer science, and that is learning how to learn. When you go into a computer science degree, sure, you're building that foundation of particular languages, particular tools and technologies, but what you're really doing is you're learning how to learn. You're proving to a potential employer that you know how to put your head down and learn a new language or a new tool or some type of skill set that you will need in the workforce. Although you have office hours in school, you can't just turn to your professor for every little problem you may have, just like you can't turn to a coworker or some type of upper management for every problem you have in your career because then what, what can you really do? What can you provide for them if you're asking people every little problem that you run into? So when you're in your college career, you need to make sure that you try for one, two, three hours, you've exhausted all opportunities online to fix a particular bug or problem in your program or whatever class you're taking before you go to your office hours. You wanna make sure that you actually understand the problem at hand and you just simply can't figure out the solution. And now you're trying to learn that solution from your professor. So now that you have the mindset of learning how to learn, my best point I can give you for preparing you for your computer science degree is actually taking a look into your computer science degree. So I'm sure you have some type of college or a list of colleges that you would like to go to, realistically like to go to. So you, what you wanna do is go on their website, go to their CS program and look at their CS courses and mandatory courses for your computer science degree at that school. So they'll have a list of math courses that you need to take, a list of labs that you have that you can take, and then a list of computer science courses and so on and so forth. You wanna take a look at those courses, specifically the computer science courses, and study up on those before you ever take those. As a matter of fact, I wanna give you a better look, a more specific look into what I'm talking about here. So allow me to set up my laptop, screen record this, so you can actually see what I want you to do. So what I've done is navigated to their course requirements for my computer science degree. And if you scroll down here, you can see the required classes. And we want to take a look at the 100 level courses. So as you can see, we have problem solving and programming one and fundamentals of computer organization. Basically, we want to come over to the actual course descriptions. One of those courses was CS150, Problem Solving and Programming 1, and we want to read that description. Introduction to Computer-Based Problem Solving and Programming in C++. Topics include problem solving methodologies, program design, algorithm development, and testing. C++ language concepts include variables, yada, yada, yada. So basically, we're getting into the basics of C++ in this course, and that's what we want to study up on before we get into computer science degree. So that makes sense, right? Basically, you want to look at the courses you're going to be taking in school, read the descriptions for those courses for your first and or second semester, and then prepare yourself basically what that description lays out. You can actually 
find some of those courses online because a lot of that information is displayed online publicly. You just can't access particular tests or quizzes and obviously you won't make a grade on it for studying it on your own. So that's what I mean by get a head start on your classes. This is essentially the same ideology of actually doing well in your classes. I actually go over it more so in my Conquering Math as a Computer Science student that I'll link up right there. Basically, you have a class that your teacher lets you know, all right, we're gonna be going over chapter 2.3 and 2.4 next class. So what you wanna do as a good student, you wanna open up your book, read over 2.3 and 2.4, maybe try some of those problems that are listed at the end of that chapter, and you may get them wrong, that's normal, but what will happen is when you go into that class, when they discuss chapters 2.3 and 2.4, your, your teacher will start talking about particular problems that you faced, and you're gonna have those aha moments in class. So that's basically what this is, but starting even earlier to actually prepare you for your whole entire degree on a course by course basis, instead of going one class at a time like that example just laid out. All right, so this next point may leave you scratching your head, but I want you to bear with me and hear me out, okay? Computer science isn't about programming. What it's really about is how to solve problems using the basic algorithmic tools of recursion, of dynamic programming, uh, the use of data structures like stacks, queues, trees, so on and so forth. So the sooner you realize that basically anybody can program, but not everybody can solve problems with their programming language, the better off you'll be. And don't get me wrong, programming itself is a skill, but if you can't actually use that skill to solve any problems, then what, what good are you? You're not really worth your salt at that point. So what you need to make sure you're able to do is solve these problems theoretically, so then you can practically solve the problems with whatever language or tool that your company uses. And all this really brings me back to my first point, and that is having that learning mindset of learning how to learn because you will always build and have that foundation of problem solving but if you aren't able to learn a particular language faster and better than the next guy then you just may be out of a job so know that learning how to learn new programming languages and tools or whatnot is a huge skill set but also understanding that computer science isn't just programming that's what you need to wrap your head around for those of you who want to learn more and still have more questions, there are a few things you can do. One would be subscribe to the channel because I'll be making more computer science topic videos just like this one and plenty of others on my channel. I actually leave a link to my computer science topic playlist in the description below, followed by a few resources that I think will help you out. I'll list a few free resources. I'll list a few maybe better paid resources, maybe some books or some online courses. Those will be linked down below as well. And if there's anything specific that you think I can answer, leave that as a comment down in the comment section below. And I read every single comment. So if you have a good question, I'll definitely get back to you. If you have a really good question, I may make a whole entire video out of it. So don't be shy. Leave that down there. Like this video if you made it this far in the video. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.